Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to upgrade your Carbonite Ultra Switcher. With all the new fantastic features that are coming out, let's quickly hop in and see what we have to do. All right, so first thing I want to do is come to the Ross Video website. We're going to go to the Support tab, go to Software Downloads, click on Carbonite Ultra, and the most current release will be right here. Once we've downloaded the software, we want to put it on a USB. Now that USB needs to be formatted FAT32, or if you already have a USB that's plugged in to your Ultra, like I do, then it's going to be a lot easier to just open up something like FileZilla. FileZilla is one of my favorite FTP clients. And what's nice about FileZilla is you can set up some connections directly to uh, your device. So here I've got my Ultra on 10.0.1.13 uh, and I'm using the user password. So user is user, password is password. So once we've set that up, we go ahead, we connect and now I have direct access to the USB. And so as you'll see, you'll take that file that you downloaded and you'll just drag it over and drop it onto your Carbonite Ultra. So now that it's on our Carbonite Ultra, we're going to go into Dashboard. And here's our Ultra. It's already connected. We're going to go ahead to the Configuration page. On the Configuration System tab, there is an Upgrade button. Before we go ahead and perform this upgrade, one of the things we want to make sure we do is back our switcher set up to that USB drive. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now in most circumstances, it's going to do the upgrade and everything is going to pull back just as it was before you started your upgrade. But for precautionary reasons, it's always best to take a few seconds to just do the saving. What you'll see is down here, just to the left, we have our save sets. You can come in and you can store it to any of the default folders, set 0 through set 9. Now in a separate episode, uh, we do show you how you can make custom folders. And like I have here, I'm going to go ahead and save all to my custom folder where I already have something in personality, installation, custom, and memories. Again. We're just going to back it up to exactly what we have right now. So we're going to go ahead and say all. Oh, it's going to prompt us to say, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. So as you can see, it only takes a couple seconds. Everything is now saved and backed up to the USB. With that, we're free to jump over to the upgrade, select our upgrade, click on upgrade. And once we click this button, it is going to cause the switcher to reboot. So hang in there and we'll be right back after this upgrade. After a few minutes, our system is now back up and we can confirm that almost everything has come up exactly the way that we liked it. So we can go to our inputs and we can see that all of our input naming is how we had set it up. We can see all of our, our assignments for mnemonics as well as the naming and the setup of our frame sync format converters. We can go ahead and see that all of our outputs are configured how they were with all of our audio and in the configuration that our audio was set up. There is one item which when you have the audio mixer, you will have to keep in mind is that on every reboot, you do need to go over to the audio mixer and you are going to have to come in and enable any of the phantom power microphones that you need. Now, this is a safety precaution uh, and it was designed so that when people take these portable, move them around, uh, set them back up again, that when they turn them on, they didn't accidentally have something plugged in that could cause some, some damage. That way you can be very uh, intentional that you've confirmed that a microphone uh, is plugged in that requires phantom power. Now we've got our microphone enabled. We've got all of our functionality quickly double checked. Always best to go ahead and look at the product and see as you go through your custom controls and memories, 
that everything has come back up exactly the way that you expected. I think we've come to the end of this tutorial on how to do an upgrade. Thanks for watching Ross University. And as always, don't forget to send us any emails to switchers at rossvideo.com if there is a carbonite or graphite or a QDU video that you'd like to see. See you next time.